CIVO is uh, starting on 27th January. Melody, that will be information for compliance. Yes, to confirm compliance. Next. Civil number 44, My lady, I was requesting that uh, we constrict the time. Court directed that we appear today for hearing of the application. On our part, we were ready to argue the application orally. They requested that we argue by way of written submissions. We were each given 14 days to file our written submissions. And because the diary of the court, which we are aware, is congested, there are no dates. This year, the court graciously allowed us to proceed on the 27th of January 2025. The issues before this court are grave. They are not as easy as to talk things they are. And anybody who has been thinking that uh, Mr. Dr. Halwale withdrew this matter, Anybody passing message that uh, Dr. Halwale has no case and he has abandoned this matter is a confirmation that we are determined to pursue this matter because the damage caused to the senator is amount. Right now, an impeachment motion against the deputy president has been filed. If vacancy arises in that position, Dr. Halwale will not compete to be the next deputy president of the Republic of Kenya out of the utterances of uh, one to two. These are life-threatening utterances. They go into the core of the integrity of the leadership. They go into the core of the respect that women must be given, all the women, voters, and daughters of Kakamega County and the whole country. It goes to the core, to the respect of wives. So this is a very, very serious issue that uh, Dr. Halwale is determined to pursue, to bring respect and honor to the position of the Honorable Halwale, and also to bring sense to those ones who have been hired by political shenanigans hiding behind Toto. We know very well Toto is, uh, uh, is working under instructions of other people, other operatives that have not been ready to come out openly. We are calling upon them that don't use Toto we know very well who you are. Dr. Halwale knows very well. We shall be moving further on the 27 to ensure that those funding such attacks on the senator are brought to book.